This is it. Oh my god, I've never been so pumped. This is so close. Coming to this race. You got five guys going for the championship, okay? Well, all five of them guys are separated by only eight points. That's the separation difference. Eight points. That's all that separates five guys from the point lead. Rob Houston coming to this race, a slim three-point lead over Andres Allen in the 22. Ashley Mace coming to this race, five points down to the point lead. Austin Ogo wrecked as Joltis losing his big point lead. Now he's only six back to Rob Houston, last week's winner at Zenjoltis. And then you got Alan Smith, who got a decent finish at Zenjoltis and is right there with an eight points down to Rob Houston. Five guys, eight points. Who's going to come on on top? Here at Washington DC to win the Sony Cup Series or the Sony Light Series only championship. This is for it. If you want to win the championship for this series, it's your only chance. They're gonna throw it on the line here. This is the only chance you have. 38 laps. Who's gonna come out on top? We're gonna find out. Let's get you down to the starting lineup. As the pace car drives it on in. Rob Houston starting midfield. Then you got Andres Allen starting up front. Ashley Mace starting just a little bit right, right, right up there in the front. Then there's Austin Ogo. And then here is the 40 of Allen Smith. But back up front. We're going green flag. Andres Allen and Brandon McGort leads them down. Green flag is in the air for the season finale for the light series. Nova dives at the inside, but he's not a championship contender anymore. He lost a lot of points at Zenjoltis enough to eliminate him from this title. Oh, we got a wreck around. That's Andres Allen and Rob Houston. Ogo missed it. Austin Ogo missed the wreck. And so did Allen Smith. But Andres Allen was not lucky. He got turned around. And look at them. Right there. Andres Allen. Where's the 33 car at? But racing at the start finish line. Rob House, and there he is. He's got damage, though. So, Andreas Allen and Alex, Andreas Allen and um, Rob House, and all has damage. All ready to start off the race. And John Dillon is the race leader. With Zach Flickinger, Harry Nova right there in third. Boy, that. Already, this championship is taking a twist. Andres Allen and Rob Houston, the top two in the standings, are already involved. Let's take a replay. Not quite sure what happened, but Andres slipped up on the high side here. I saw him get turned first. Is it going to start with Ogo and Houston here? Ogo and Houston, championship rivals. No, I, yes, yes, right there. That's what's going to happen right there to trigger that incident. Oh, and that's terrible luck for them. That wreck happens with these guys down here, too. But Ogo's gonna get by. Look at Alan Smith right there. Rob Housen did good to get away from all that and to get a little minimal damage there. But that sucks for Andres Allen. With all that damage there, it's gonna be hard for him to win this championship now. Coming to this race, three points down to Rob Housen. With, with a bunch of damage, it's gonna likely not happen for Allen here today. Sucks for him. We're gonna get you to um, the restart now. Getting ready to go back green. Checking on Rob Houston. Your point leader is in 10th position with damage. Then Andres Allen on the 22 car with a bunch of damage is still on the racetrack in 8th position. Right up in front of him is Ashley Mace. Right now as it runs, where's the 33 at? 
Right now as it runs, he's still got Rob Halston with a slim point lead by one over Andres Allen. That is the point gap. There they are, right there. One, two, three, four. That is right there where they all run, but Allen Smith is further back. He's still in the fight as well. For green flag. And John Dillon's gonna lead him around. But boy, looking back here, Ashley Mace in the seven car right now leads the entire championship contenders right now. But she came in this race only five points to the good behind Rob Housen. And Housen with damage on the right side, or the left side, I mean, is still running competitive. And so is Andreas Allen. So his championships are not done yet. He is in the fight still. Right there battling Housen. Here comes Burton underneath him. If Andreas Allen can somehow pull this off, I will literally throw a fit here. I don't even know how he is running up to speed right now with these guys. Incredible effort by Andres Allen to not give up. But up front, Ashley Mace has taken the point lead as she has already charged up to second place. Trying to be the first female driver to ever win a Sony championship. She won out at Zenjotis for the cup side in um, season seven at Zenjotis and she came second for that race and really put her up there in the fight for this championship. Did she lead that lap? No, just second to John Dillon. Brandon McGuirt right behind her there. But Rob Housen is in ninth position. Right now, only four points down to Ashley May, so he needs to get up there. And here comes Alan Smith fighting back. He knows he needs to make a charge at the front here if he wants to get up there. Andres Allen slipping back, but it's really good effort by him to not give up right there. He's still in the fight. But Ogo in the five car with no damage as well. He's sliding back as well. I guess it's because he's on the high side. But here comes the 40 underneath the 33 here. Remember, the 40 Valen Smith came in this race the furthest back from the point leader. Eight points. But still within a shot of win this championship. Ashley May slipping back across the start finish line here. Where is she running? Sixth position. And the 33 car runs 12. So that's still good enough for Ashley to take home the championship as it runs. But Burton right now leads. Oh, but then we see Owl Boy. Alan Smith nearly got turned there, and I think we may have had a wreck here. I'm not quite sure. Is the pace car out? I'm not sure. Something happened with these guys. Yeah, the pace car is out. Caution flag is out for the second time here today. And it had something to do with Alan Smith because he got really close to getting turned there. We're going to take a replay. Well, focused in on Alan Smith. This is what happens with him. And, um... Oh, no! Ashley Mace! She got turned! She turned Henry Nova! That's what happened there. Ashley Mace in the 7 car was one really good to try and win the championship. No more for Ashley! She wrecks herself out of the championship hunt. Aw, oh, just like her brother... No luck in the season finale. Aw. Oh, tough luck for Aisley. Aw. Oh, trying to be the first female driver to win a championship is not going to happen today. She just turned Henry Nova down into Alan Smith. And she ended up turning around and getting hit in the wall. Aw. Oh, she was on a run to try and beat one of the guys to win the championship. Now, all the championship contenders have had some sort of... Um, incident here in the finale here. All these guys have had some sort of problem. Now, Ashley is permanently eliminated from this championship month because of that maneuver there. I want to see what, um, how she really got involved around. See, look here. She's going to get into the corner panel, the left rear, right there into Harry Nova. And that hit in the, uh, the Smith right there into DJ Curtis. Look at the 33 and the... Tw uh, 22 there. They missed him right there. Very good drive by them guys. And I think Alan Smith, when we saw him driving right there, he was able to get away with it. But Alan Smith looks like his hood's a little buckled there. I don't know how that's going to be for him. But terrible luck for Ashley Mace trying to be the first female driver to win a Sony championship. It's not going to happen here today. Let's get you to the replay or the restart. So now it goes from five drivers to four. 
Roundhouse and in the 33 with damage is still fighting his own in 16th position. Andres Allen behind him there, coming in the trees, three points down to him and three points down again, six points right now behind Houston as it runs. But where's the five car at of Austin Ogo? 13th position coming in this race, a total of six points down to the 33 right now, only three points back to Rob Houston. But where is that 40 at? The 40 car. In ninth position, and right now, tied with Rob Houston for this championship. Zach Flickinger has taken the lead from Eric Burton, Jacob Hart, and Brandon Rewart working up on the bottom there to try and take the lead from Flickinger. Houston in the 33 is losing ground, however. He needs to get to the bottom group there. He has damage and so does Allen. So it's going to be very hard for these guys to win the championship, but they're not giving up. There goes Austin Ogo getting back by Allen Smith there. Smith with that little bit of damage from the hood may be what it takes to slow him down just a bit. You can't see it, but... I wonder if we go on on board, if you can see. See right there? Just a little buckle there, right in the right front, the left front of me. That's just doing what it takes enough to slow him down just a little bit. And it's just slowing him down just a little bit. But Austin Ogo gets by Alan Smith for a position there. Where is he at right now? 12th and 18th. That's six positions. Just enough to tie Rob Houston. And I don't even know who would win the tiebreaker. The tiebreaker? I don't even know who the tiebreaker would go to. We're gonna check here for a moment. Let me do my math. Okay, so I just I okay, yeah. Oh, they're racing really hard up front. Yeah, the tiebreaker goes to Rob Housen in every situation but Andreas Allen. Andreas Allen has the tiebreaker over everybody but Rob ha uh, Rob Housen uh, like <clears throat> has it over everybody but Andreas Allen so Housen as it was would have the point lead or the championship if it was a tiebreaker for anybody but Allen so that's what it goes right now. Eric Burton in the 31 fighting back on the inside here. But look at this five car here. He's worked his way up into this pack. Austin Ogo up into the pack here. There's Alan Smith right there. He needs gains some points here. The way he runs. And Andres Allen just, just good enough to hold on to the draft here. But he needs to be at least three positions ahead of Rob House to tie for the championship. 18th position, and right now as it runs, Austin Ogu making a charge to the front on the inside there. Well, about 13 laps to go. Still a lot more racing to go. Gene Sanford in the 21 has taken the lead with Brad Johnson coming up in behind. Oh, Austin Ogu really wants this championship bad. To the inside he goes right there for the lead. Getting help from John Dillon. Dillon goes to his inside there. Oh boy. At the line, it's Dillon. I don't like being up here in this pack because if you wreck, your, your hopes are done. Oh boy, they're really close. Still, it's Ogo with the championship. Mason Wood in the 20 has taken the lead, but Ian Duda the inside there. Dylan Young the inside, but the 31 Eric Burton lower. There's Austin Ogo still holding his own in this pack here. Like we said, he came to this race a six, a total of six points down in the 33 car. That 40 car there. The only reason he is not being able to get up there in that pack is the little bit of aerodynamics from the hood that's messed up on that car. Andres Allen, you can tell how he slowed with a bunch of back end damage, just good enough to slow him down. 
he was really fast. And if he wouldn't have been damaged there, he probably would have been the, one of the guys to contend for the win. There's Rob Houston with damage on his side there. Still limping around in 18th position. Needs to have Ogo finish 12th if he wants to win this championship. And right now as it runs, Dean Sanford is in 13th position. And right now, if Austin Ogo could drop to the tail end of this pack, that could possibly happen. But Ogo still with the championship in hold. Still a lot more racing to go as we're going four wide back here. Maybe no. I thought we were going four wide. Brad Johnson peeking low to the inside back there, but still clean of racing. Mason Wood goes the inside there to try and take the lead. These guys want to win the final race in the Sony Light Series. Oh, four wide there. Very close. Heart up high. Both the hearts right there. Or that that map. That's out Gorge there. And Andres Allen has gotten by the right now as they run right now. Andres Allen right now. He has the, he has the point lead, I think. Maybe I don't know. Actually, he's tied with Rob Houston as it runs right now. <coughs> so Andre, up 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 up. I'll go right there. Slide back. Drop from third all the way back to where. Um. Ogo came to this race three points down. Right now, this is Andres Allen's championship as it runs currently. It would be a tiebreaker, a three-way tiebreaker as it runs right now. Ogo, Allen, Housen all have the same points. And that right now, but Allen would get the point lead and the championship as it runs with the tiebreaker for the best average finish. Oh boy, this championship is coming down to it. Oh boy, this is going to be so close. Ogo slides back. I don't know if this is what intentional or not. Trying to time the move. Perfect. But now that he's in 13th position, it's he's only two one point down to Andres Allen and Rob House and both tied for the point lead. But up front, Mason Wood, one of the strong cars all weekend, is leading Dylan Young, Eric Burton, Take a part, Zach Looker, Alex Scorge. But boy, right now as it runs, Andreas Allen's got to hold off the 40 car if he wants to win this championship because as it runs, it's his. We're focused in on this position because that position is costly because if the 40 gets by the 22, it's the 33's championship. The 5's got to get up there if he wants to win this title. <clears throat> We're focused in on Ogo and the 40 car here. There that goes the 40. Now it is the 33 championship to lose here. But the 5 of Ogo is lucky to the inside. He's ready to go. Here comes Austin Ogo now. <clears throat> Making his move. 13th still the line. Now he gets 12th by Brad Johnson. And look at there. Zach Flickinger sliding back on the outside. That position is going to be very costly. Ogo gets by the one car here. That is for a very, very close point that he needs. Now, Ogo is the point leader as it runs. Coming to the white flag now. Who's your leader? Your leader is Jacob Hart with Ian Duda right in behind. Oh, but Ogo better not give away that position because that position's very, very costly there. But here comes Zach Flickinger now to the inside. Andres Allen needs to get by the 40 here, but as it runs, it's Rob Housen's championship. The one car got by Ogo. It's going to be a tiebreaker between the 33 and the 5. It's the 33 of Rob Housen that's going to win the Sony Light Series championship. Yes, indeed. Rob Housen ties Austin Ogo for the championship, but it's good enough. Housen wins the championship in the first ever tiebreaker that we will have to go to. <clears throat> oh, and they just right right up in front of him there. <clears throat> Housen wins the championship by a tiebreaker. Yes, indeed. Ogo finishes six positions ahead of Rob Housen, and that's good enough to tie Housen, but it's not enough to win the tiebreaker. Rob Housen, the damage 33, is going to win the Sony Light Series championship. 
Oh my goodness. And just to think, Andreas Allen with that beat up race car, if he wouldn't have let Allen Smith by, he would have tied for a three-way tiebreaker. And he would have won the championship because he had the tiebreaker over Houston and Ogo both. But Allen comes up one point short, Ogo ties Houston and will lose the title. But due to a tiebreaker over the 33. Oh man, that's gotta burn right there. The one car in Zach Flickinger gets by you on the last lap for that oh so costly position. And you will lose the championship by a tiebreaker. <laughs> That's got to burn for Austin Ogo. But the 33 <coughs> of Rob Houston. The season 5 Sony Cup Series driver did not even return for any other seasons and up until now for the Sony Light Series. And he will win the Sony Light Series championship by just a tiebreaker over Austin Ogo. And only one point over Andreas Allen. Wow. <laughs> wow. Oh, that, that that's crazy. That oh my god. Rob House wins the championship. But a tiebreaker. In the one and only Sony Light Series. That's the only season that you could have done it. And Ogo loses it by just a last lap pass. Oh, that burns. That really does burn. But congratulations to Rob Houston fighting the battle with a beat-up race car, and he will win the title. Congratulations to him. Let's go to your official results and points.